gentlemen, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. You know, I'm on my way to the warehouse and I happen to see this uh, really nice GMC over here with this big, beautiful work for it decal on the back window. And I'm like, oh hey Chris, I'm assuming you're probably going to my warehouse too. Usually communication in our group is like not our greatest factor. Every time you guys see like 40 people at the shop, none of that was ever planned. That is just randomly people just start showing up expecting somebody to be there. And I mean, most of the time, I guess we all are there. All right, buddy, you get this thing fixed yet? Uh, that's what I'm here for. Oh, I thought like, you'd be done by now. <laughs> oh, yeah, shame on me, you're right. Uh, Chris, I open my hood, and Chris sits in on it, holding the strap, and then we just tow it around with the truck. You're gonna get Chris to sit in your hood. Yeah. Hold, where's Wes? That's an ideal uh, Wes no, job. They're on, they're on their way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, what do you got, buddy? You brought uh, smoothies for everybody? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, you know, it's crazy. Take a sip and pass on. No, and that's how you get Corona, yeah, Chris. Yeah, I don't know about that right now. Yeah. All right, Chris, so he's got a plan. He wants you to sit under the hood and hold the strap, mm -hmm. and then we're going to tow it to the Did back of the it? shop. Can you hold oh, all that? Mind. It runs. All right, let's just tell everybody what happened to this thing. <laughs> hey, it was like ideal time. And the last time the C10 was here, you were blowing all kinds of smoke at Wes, oh, yeah. saying you're going to race him. You guys were go you had to go drop it off somewhere. He was going to pick you up over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, hey, what happened on that trip? So uh, going uphill, uh, decided to take Wes out to Gapplebee's. Uh, was heading up the hill, it was eating, and I decided to let it eat, and it finally let go and sheared the uh, tail housing right off. So, so you didn't even make it. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> we got about an hour and a half out, and I was having way too much fun in the truck and sent it a little too hard. And honestly, I wasn't even mad. We pulled over to the side of the road, cracking, laughing, and we had a good time. It was worth it. And might have coated the entire freeways where the cars in. Oh, and his truck, yeah. Oh, and was truck. all over his truck. He, he was kind of mad about that, but besides that, it was all good. <laughs> Today, this thing's gonna be getting repaired. Chris, you got that? That's why Chris is here, master mechanic. Yep, certified. Certified. There she is. All new uh, seals. This everything. looks like a pretty rough casting there. Yeah, it's you know it sits under the truck. No one notices. Huh? What is that? This is a tail tail housing. Mm -hmm. This goes on the tail end of the transmission. Seven hundred R four. Yep. Yep. Seven hundred R four. Yeah. Yeah. You thought you had me, didn't you, buddy? It's the last See, one. What is this? Plastic? Vehicle. Yeah. Right. No. The the last one. I kid you not. You'll see it just sheared right off, Whoa. making too many uh, hearse purrs and just. I don't even trust this right one, dude. Where'd you get this? What we'll kind see. of it's get, Chinese it's gonna, Corona stuff? It's getting an LS and a they 4 They don't make a billet one of these? Nah, not that I found. Fighting chance. There's a fighting these chance. These things will tow that truck no problem with the slicks off. I think two of these with the slicks on, no problem will tow that truck. If you put it in speed one and you got weight on the back end, it doesn't break them loose. There's no way. Oh, yeah. There's, there's no way. Oh, we're going to show you. I'm, I'm in disbelief. Not because it's... <laughs> It would take like two seconds to push it around the block, yeah, but because yeah. you know what? Hey, we got Why toys. Not, Let's right? use the toys. Uh, no, hey, toe straps. Come Let's on. get it out of the way. I was in my Oh, okay, yeah. This thing's heavy. We gotta use. I don't know. The toe strap might weigh more than the truck. There, there you go. All right, you're good to go. Beep beep. Beep beep. Rope down. Rope down. Rhino's towing in recovery. Boom. Yeah, we gotta be same length, same length. We don't want it to get awkward here. Let's make it nice and short so uh, I don't pay attention. I run you guys over. Dude, this, this he's got some big old beefy rear bumpers. You ain't gonna hurt us. I have a feeling we're gonna start. Me and Chris are just gonna pff, smoosh right into each other. <laughs> You're gonna start sliding. What speed are you in? You're in two? Put it in one, dude. We gotta put it in the granny gear. We gotta crawl. Let's go to speed one. All right, Chris. Think heavy. We gotta put some weight on the rear here. Ready? Driving, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm steering. So we have a shot of full send in, all right? We're going full send in. Yeah. Go all the way in. Yeah. All right. One you know shot. What? I've already eaten my words once already, so I'm not. Don't run us it. over. I'll try my best. You didn't see Chris's face when he saw the back end or the front end coming at him. You might want to move your truck because we're trying to make this turn. They want to do it in one shot here. Let's see if we can just keep the momentum to roll up the ramp into the warehouse. You're doubting us again? This is great. I'm kind of doubting this one more so I don't want to get run over. We just got to carry a lot of speed all the way around. All 
all the way around and then straight in this way. That's no fun. You don't think it's gonna work? I don't know. We got some momentum. We're rolling now, buddy. We're rolling. Alright, keep it wide. Cut it in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Can we put the C10 on the flex ramp? <laughs> it's not gonna go anywhere. We'll try. I bottomed out, like my tire hits inner fender, like the top of it. You bottomed out coming into the shop here. On and off ramps, like I, I scrub on the way in and off, off ramps. It's ridiculous. But we are gonna be flexing out the K20 today, right? You're gonna yes, go, that will happen. He's gonna go get the K20. He's got a new set of wheels and tires on there as well that looks a lot better. And he wants to put it on the flex ramp. He's got a new lift kit coming for it. So I think we should do a before and after on uh, the K20's whole setup. Chris, doing a great job supervising. Chris, are you are you okay <laughs> sitting this low to the ground? Do you want me to set? Yeah, you want to set the ladder up? Which which ladder do you want? I'll set it up in a second. All right, give it the shake test. I don't think you're supposed to be under it when you give it the shake test. Oh, of course you are. How else are you gonna see it full? What's up with these uh, pink purple missile things under here? Uh, all right. a secret. It's all California compliant. Okay. Now you can see what happened. So. Yep. Uh, yeah, that little bit of carnage right there. Yeah, that's supposed to be attached. Yeah, just a little bit. It's got a sensor in it? Yeah, so that's my uh, my RPMs for my Dakota digital gauges. Gotcha. Yep, it's got a little pickup, which obviously it's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to order that stuff in. It's like, couldn't, so low, I honestly couldn't really tell what the full damage was. So I may have to chop up this a little bit and then swap that out. Luckily, that's four bolts, pull the drive shaft and Hey, right, there's uh, some gasoline leaking on me right now. Is it? I think you got a little bit of a leaky tank. Uh-oh, that's not good. Looks like it's carrying down on this bracket here. I'll have to take a look at that. Well, hey, the suspension looks great, though. Oh, yeah. What kit do we got on here? Uh, the QA1, uh, full coil over conversion, upper, lower, tubular arms. Uh, got the dual adjustable shocks, rebound and dampening. Definitely need to come up a little bit on them. <laughs> <laughs> Very soft right now. There's like zero preload on these things. Weird. This is why you remember to grab your stuff before we lift the truck. Oh, it's locked. Yeah, the key's in the truck. <laughs> That's real stable. OSHA approved. Oh yeah. So uh, my lovely Dakota Digital uh, wiring harness uh, found out where it went. Got sucked and, up uh, inside. Pretty sure that's supposed to have an O-ring on it. Yeah, she, Holy she shit. ain't budging, buddy. No, she's not. That's not a good thing. I wonder if it like shredded the spawns into them themselves. I wouldn't doubt it, fortunately, <laughs> but I wasn't planning on that. Yeah, the crossbow was supposed to be bolted together or no? Mind you, I blew this up going like 115. This could have been way worse. Yeah, you should probably go around and fix everything while we're under here. Look at this. Oh. It's just these two. No, thank God for those two. It's the only thing holding the truck. Well, guess, this place. is the same thing? Oh, it only has these two on this side. Oh, no, then it's got the uppers up there. Well, yeah, but that's to a thing that's not even bolted to the cross member. That's a brace that's you're not even attached. You're right. Oh, you guys only work on newer vehicles, blah, 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 this and that. Some of us work on older vehicles. And sometimes I And this is the reason some of us don't want to. <laughs> there you go. You can, you cannot like avoid this sometimes. Previous owners, you have no idea what they're going to do to these vehicles and sure. you kind of figure it out as you go and a what should be a $70, $50 repair turns into potentially 1000. We'll see where this goes. Who knows. All right, so plan B, we loosen up the rear U bolts and we're going to try to rotate it out. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe a little more. Oh, yeah, maybe a little more. Oh! Well, now you joins on the list. <laughs> that ain't going back in. I think that side was was locking you in, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she is. I may be looking at a drive shaft too now. You're, you're in a little more trouble than you thought. Yeah, we might be. Good catch, buddy. Oh, yeah. How the splines look? <laughs> oh. They're fine. All right. What? <laughs> what? How's this side look? It looks good. Yeah, this. No metal shavings? No, that's. Huh. Yeah, you know, you can want the extra play in there. <laughs> let us know in the uh, comments down below if you want us to LS swap this thing already. <laughs> Send us an LS. Right? And a 4 <laughs> yeah. NV4500. 
Uh, what else do I need? Uh, 484 if anybody's got one of those. Uh, and some snacks for Chris. Snacks, yes. The lifeguard tower. If anybody has a connection on a lifeguard <laughs> tower, we'll set one of those up. That's a great him. idea. I think we figured it out. I think it's just snack time that he has to be on the ladder. <laughs> that might be it. You gotta have your snacks up, up high? Is that what it was like as a kid or something? It was. In your treehouse? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get the ramp set up. So when uh, Dedek comes back with the K20, just have him pull straight up onto it. I feel like before Dedek gets back with the K20, we gotta test this thing out with our four by machine here. Brave face there, buddy. Tell me you ain't nervous. No, I did it oh, you did it once. You're not nervous anymore. No. All right, here he is. Moment of truth. Gotta lock the oh, come on, guys. 2020. Need auto locking, four wheel drive. Hug this side. talking crap. Yeah. Dude, granny low, you just roll. I didn't even touch the gas. Look at that. that. Was clutch right there. That's not Shit, it's still on the ground. Oh, oh hey! <laughs> I want to see you hit it at like 40 and drive on two wheels. <laughs> you good? Ooh, hey, oh. You got to come this way, boy. You're on the edge. You just love tearing apart drivetrains, don't you? I do. I do. Well, we to unlock your front. Alright. Alright, change of plans. Uh, drive shaft's getting shortened. Yep. Oh, right here. Oh, motherfucker. You're gonna rip the teeth off. Whoa, slow, dude. You're gonna burn it up. You're gonna burn it up. Would you like to do it? No, just exactly. don't go full fucking speed. Exactly. Here, how about this? There you go. On there, Spin on it. <laughs> Just a tip? Just a tip. The tip's... <laughs> that was gross, dude. <laughs> There's a whole lot of Rona on that tip now. <laughs> Super safe. Super safe. Apparently the saw is always too slow, so we're going to shoot sparks right at the leaky gas tank. Hey, what do we got here? Offer up deal of the day. Yeah, I picked up some, some new Nitto Trail Grappler 375, 45R22, so basically almost the same exact size as what I have on my truck just for 22s. Gotcha. They're a little shorter but they're the same width. This is for a little project I might be working on. There you go. Brian's truck? Nope. That's broken down? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Brian? Yeah, what, what happened, Brian? And speaking of Wes's off rub deals, he just took the drift trap to go, uh, drift trike to go make an off rub sale. Yo, that dude had a fucking huge dually on my 40s. Really? Big ass Duramax. Dang, bro. I like your sale vehicle. How'd the sale go? A1. <laughs> Gonna get a full five-star review on my offer up. Yeah, you need you need something to like mark the spline you started counting on. That's what I did. <laughs> you got this, dude. Count the splines. <laughs> so it turns out drive shaft doesn't need to be shortened. He what? Twisted the splines? Yeah, I twisted up my yoke. Too many hearse pairs. <laughs> Yeah, all, all 35 horsepower. That's why I wasn't sliding in and out like it's supposed to mm -hmm. as the suspension 
So as it goes in, you can see you where they all start to kick over. No, I no, the uh, the transmission. Yeah, Wes says make sure you do straight lines, Brian. Straight I lines. He's too far away. Oh, he's too far away. Yeah. I don't know what he did to train you, buddy, but he I'm did. Just, I'm just bored. Oh, okay. I'm always out indoors working, so you know. Well, good to see. I mean, Chris's truck. And, Chris you know. already did his. Oh. I wanted to try out that, you know, Adam. Adam, Adam's detail spray. Adam's detail spray. Yeah. How do you like it? It goes in pretty nice. I mean, look at it. Oh, he washes it. He, you, you let him drive it, Dad. I just want to hear it from over there. The horn. Let me borrow. You know what? I let him borrow my truck when mine broke or his broke. Yeah. Mine didn't break. Yeah, the powder coat. Well, well we figure, off. you know, you wash Dad's truck, you get to drive it. Yeah, true. All right. All right, see you guys later. All right, bye. <laughs> this is how Wes tests his horn. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, uh, the piece they need to get the drive shaft fixed was not in stock. So hopefully we see this thing back together in the next couple days, and then we go back. To the All right, well, Chris is going to be doing the burnouts. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. is so sketchy when he drops the clutch. All right, well, hey, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please give the subscribe button now that you don't miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn.